Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the top 14 iOS features for your iOS device. And if you don't know how to download iOS 14 onto your iOS device, it's okay. Because in my previous video, I showed you guys how to download iOS 14. And this video is also in the description below, and it's in the cards right here. So make sure to click on it if you don't know how to download it. Now, let's get right into it. Now before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be the first one in all the tips, tutorial hacks and much more. And you can also comment down below any questions that you may have about this video or any other tech topic and I'll try my best to answer them. And make sure to share this video with friends and family and drop a like if you find this video helpful. And now let's get started. Alright guys, so the first feature that I'm just about to show you makes iOS 14 unique and standard from all the other iOSes is the app library and the widgets. And all you have to do to add widgets is to click on anywhere where there's an open space and hold it and then click on this plus button right here and then choose a widget of your choice. Currently, Apple only offers their own widgets, so there's their own apps, but later on they offer third party apps, which will be really cool. So for now, I'll just choose battery click add widget and suppose if I want to add another widget for example I want to add music or maps and then I'll add widget and now suppose if I want to put these two widgets into one stack all I have to do is select one of them and drag it into the other and as you can see I have two widgets into one stack and now another cool feature about this widget is that you can put a smart stack which will basically rotate based on machine learning throughout the day and all you have to do to add that is again do the same thing hover above anywhere there's an open area Click on the plan and then click on the smart stack right here. Okay, so many people say that I do not want one widget in my smart stack and there's a fix to that. All you have to do is select on this smart stack and click on edit stack and then just swipe left to the widget that you do not need. Click on delete. And there you go, that widget is no longer in your smart stack. Okay, so the next feature is the app library. The app library is basically a drawer of all your iOS applications. Suppose you want to remove an app from the home screen but you don't want to delete it. There's a way to do that in the iOS 14. And all you have to do is right click on the app or select the app and then click on remove app. Just remove from home screen. And as you can see, the app is still there in the app library, but just remove. And now this is a really cool feature because it removes space from your iOS device's homepage, but it keeps the app there. Alright guys, so the third feature of iOS 14 is that you can actually uncheck and remove some home pages from your iOS device. For example, you just dump all the apps which you do not use into one home page right here. Suppose I don't use this home page really, so all you have to do to do that is click on somewhere where there's empty space, then click on this home page tabs, and just uncheck this tab, and then click done. As And then click done again, and as you can see that home page is gone. Really cool, right? Alright guys, so the fourth feature of iOS 14 is the redesigned Siri. So let me first show you guys how Siri looks on the older iOS devices. As you can see, it takes up the entire screen, right? Now look on the new iOS 14. The Siri button just comes at the end. So if I say, hey Siri, how's it going? And as you can see, Siri will just respond right here. Now this is really cool, right? Suppose you're like doing something, something else and you don't want Siri to take up the entire screen. This is a really cool feature. Alright guys, so the fifth feature of iOS 14 is picture in picture. And this is really cool if you like to do multitasking. And to do picture in picture, all you have to do is open up a video and then make it full screen. And then now just do the thing how you would normally swipe out. But instead, look now. I have I can picture in picture and I can multitask. And this is really cool. You can make, make it bigger. And you can move it around. If you just want the audio, as you can see, I can just move it to the end and bring it back. Alright guys, so six features that now you can directly search for emojis. And all you have to do is open up a search place. And here, just click on the emoji tab. And then type, simply type for the emoji that you want. And suppose I want to type for party. As you can see, I find all the party emojis. And this is really cool, right? But I feel that Apple should have implemented this feature a long time ago. But at least it's here now. Alright guys, so the seventh feature is that anytime you access the camera, a green light will appear in the top right corner. And anytime you access the microphone, a yellow light will appear. Okay guys, so the next feature is that and if suppose you join a FaceTime call and someone's using sign language, the AI will automatically move that guy to the top so everyone can easily see him. Okay guys, so the next feature of iOS 14 is that you can have your HomeKit controls right here in the control center. And to do that, all you have to do is go to settings, then go to control center and then click on show home controls. And then as you can see, I have the HomeKit here. If I had any accessories 
enabled, it, it would show up here. Okay guys, so the next feature of iOS 14 is, is directly copied from Google, I guess, and that is the Translate app. As you can see, you can just type any text or say any audio and it will be translated into your desired language. Okay guys, so this feature is adds on to the feature that I just talked about and which is about this homepage at the bottom. But let me just quickly talk a feature about it. As you can see, you can haptic touch on it and you can easily move across homepages. Okay, so the next feature is going to be in the camera app, and that is Quick Take Video. Now, Quick Take Video was part of iPhone 11 before the iOS 14 update, but now Quick Take Video is moving its sale down to the older iPhone models. And for Quick Take Video, what you have to do is press on the photo button, and it will start into a video. And that's really cool, right? Okay guys, so the next feature is App Clips. App Clips is basically where you scan a QR code and you basically get to see a quick snippet of an app if you don't want to download the entire app. And this is really cool if you don't have enough space and you just want to get a quick snippet of the app. Okay guys, so this next feature that I'm just about to show you, well, I'm guessing that many people will like, and that is that you can make sure that some apps will not have your precise location and only have an approximate location. And to do that, all you have to do is go to settings, then go to privacy, and then go to location services and then click on any app of your choice. For example, I'll just ESPN and you can turn off precise location. Now the app will only have an approximate location of where you are. And this is really cool if you mind your privacy. Okay guys, so the 14th feature of iOS 14 is back tap. Back tap is basically when you tap on your iOS device on the back and whatever command that you have set, it will do that command. And so for example, I have set currently for double tap it's going to go to this app switcher and triple tap will take a screenshot. Now there is a half second delay, but this is normal. And to make sure you can change all of this, all you have to do is go to settings and go to accessibility and then click on touch and here click on back tap. And here you have a heap amount of choices that you can do. I chose app switcher for double tap and screenshot for triple tap and you can choose whichever you want. And that's it for this video and stay tuned for my future video where I'll be showing you guys top 10 hidden features of iOS 14. So there you have it guys. You know 14 different iOS 14 features for your iOS device. And if this video helped you, remember to hit that like button and tell me in the comment section below which feature you like the best. And make sure to share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it for this video. And check out my previous videos which are linked on screen, especially this one right here. That is really good if you wanna learn how to download applications on your older iOS devices. And I'll see you guys soon.